Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're gonna to be looking at 10 new sheaths from my friend Micah over at Black Bear Custom Kydex. All right, sheath system number one is this right here. As you can see, it's for my Mora Axe and the Companion as well. There's a close-up of it. So a couple different things. As far as attaching this system to a backpack or to your belt, you got the dot system on the top. You slide this little bar up. Now you can put these over your belt and then slide it down and lock it into place. So easy enough to do. Again, molly webbing, it can run on. You can run on your belt, attach it to a pack. Um, you've got your companion there on the front. If you want to take the companion out, got your thumb ramp, press off that. There's the companion that locks back into place. If you want to get the ax out, you can see the split is in the back there. So you're basically going to pull kind of like, if you're holding it like this, you're going to pull down and out a little bit and then the ax will slide out. So it's a little bit hard to do holding it up this high, but so there's that. There's my ax, and then when you want to put it back in, kind of put it in like this, right? And then you're gonna slide it, swing it back up, and it'll lock into place. So there's that. So basically the tip of the ax is kind of locked in is locked in here. Now an additional cool feature of this is if you want to like lead the axe back at camp and then just take out the companion, you can see we've got the basket weave style here and then we've got black multicam here and this thing pops out like so. So now I've got the companion all by itself. So now I can carry this around and use just the knife and then it's got one of these utila clips on it which you can see and you can run this um, you know over molly webbing if you want to lock it to that. There is plenty of tension where if you run this portion of the clip like over a belt and then just press this down, it's going to be squeezing against your belt. I put it on before. I mean that is locked in. It's not going to fall off on you unless you're going to go like tumbling tumbling down a hill. So black multicam for this one. Nice thumb ramp and then when you want to put it back in just like so. And now you've got that system set up again. So that's our first first system uh, for the axe and the companion from Mora. So that was number one. Let me show you sheaths number two, three, and four, okay? So this is for my SC Azula. You can see that very cool um, design. It's like um, snake scales, you know, like um, snake skin. It's got kind of a brownish tinge and then some gray in it as well. And obviously for my Azula, so this is the one in venom green with the, uh, I've got an orange wrapped handle. Cool thing about this is that you've got your system on the back here. Um, this has the dots system inside. So as it's set up to attach it right now, it's gonna be for vertical carry like on my belt. But because this is in a, basically in a square, you can turn it at different angles. So if you wanna set it up for scout style carry, you can do that as well. So there's a close up of that again. So I'm doing two, three, and four, sheath number two, three, and four kind of at the same time because I want you to see there, there's some similarities. This is another one. This is black and then this accent down here on the bottom, which is really cool. And then this is for the, uh, the moss back, I think it is. Yeah, the moss back from CRKT. So there's the knife. Locks in. And then again, on the back, if you want to set this up a different way, you can unlock this, open it up. And it's just a standard Phillips head, so you can set it up vertical, horizontal, different ways of carrying that. So that's the, uh, let's say that's number three, I guess. And then here's the fourth one. This is a, um, a giant mouse knife. This is a Vox and Anzo collaboration. So there's the knife. And then here it is locking in here. Again, we've got like an OD, is that OD? Yeah, it's kind of OD green, a little bit darker. And then some Cryptek there on the bottom. And he set this one up a little bit differently in that as it's currently set up, it's gonna be for, you do it cross, cross draw style. So you know, I'm gonna, if I'm right-handed, I'm gonna put it on my left-hand side so I can take the knife out like that. But again, you can take this thing, open it up, and reorient it a different way if you want to, uh, you want to set it up a little bit differently. So that's their second, third, and fourth sheaths from Micah. Let me just show you one more time, recap. There's the um, giant mouse knives. Here's the moss back from CRKT. And then here's my SC Azula setup. This next one, like I was just like 
standing in awe of it. Literally, I mean, I was like looking at it, I was just going, I can't believe someone could like put this together, engineering it in such a way. Okay, so what we have are two knives from Condor Tool and Knife. We've got the Mini Hudson Bay and then the Iron Path on the top there. So this is a Baldrick system. So you've got your sling. And again, you could orient this different ways. If you want to carry it across your front, across your back, you want to just sling it across one shoulder, you can do that as well. So we have an Exotac Fire Steel, which he's mounted on there. So there's that, and if you uh, aren't familiar, this is um, the uh, it says bush, bush Tools on it, it's the Fire Rod, I guess I should say. And you can store um, some tinder inside the, uh, inside the handle there. So that's mounted up like that. This is Kydex that's been wrapped in leather. And you can see, I mean, just look at that cool logo right there, the Black Bear Custom Kydex logo. So the thing that is, I mean, the system by itself right now is great. The thing that's even more amazing about this one is that you can take the Mini Hudson Bay out. So now I've got a Blade Tech Tech Lock here. I can set this thing up. Let me open this guy up real quick. I can set this guy up and carry it scout style on my back. So I've got a knife. If I want to carry the whole system, I can do it. If I want to take this off and just carry the Mini Hudson Bay, I can do that now with this system. Let me show you real quick. Here's what the attachment point looks like. So he's got the Kydex overlaid with leather and that same, we have Kydex overlaid with leather for this. And then this guy links into this system right down here. So it's not really, I mean, when I first saw it, I thought it was gonna be hard to do, but basically you kind of put it in at an angle. Let's see if I can get to do it on camera here. You put it in at an angle like this, and then you kind of just twist it in, and then it'll slide in and push it forward, and now it's good to go. And I mean, that thing is not, that thing is not coming out. So look at that system. Sun's not helping me out right now. I gotta readjust the camera. Here's the iron path. So you got your like big hefty chopper, and then you've got your smaller knife for some smaller work. You got your fire steel there. And if you're, you know, you're like, hey, this system's awesome. I'd love to do something like that. But I also want a small flashlight. I want a compass on there. He can do it. It's custom Kydex. So that's the system. Just, I just think that's so cool, you know, like to be able to separate them and it's not clunky, it's not awkward. When you take the um, Mini Hudson Bay out here, now you can just carry this. You know, you can sling this Baldrick style, carry it around, use it. And then again, when you want to, um, when you want to put the whole system back together, try to do it on camera so you can actually see it. Kind of sideways here, twist it in until it clicks in, then push it forward. And now the system is reset. So that is an awesome, awesome piggyback, but separatable, I don't think that's a word, but today it is, um, system from, uh, from Black Bear Custom Kydex and the Iron Path, kind of a cool chopping tool. So there's your next system from Micah. All right, the next system here is for my RB3, one of my favorite knives from Essie. This is one of the, the older ones. The new ones have kind of the, um, it's not a coating, but it's like a black acid wash type finish. So this is uh, one of the original versions. I do have a um, Exotac, it's the Hablish, Bu Hablish Bush Tools um, Fire Steel on it right there. And then on the back, we've got a, um, got a Blade Tech Tech Lock. So this is, you just roll this down, squeeze these together. I can do it, there we go. And then put that on your belt. And the thing that's really cool about this is, look at that sheath, the flag. Um, I wasn't sure when I first looked at it, I was like navy blue or black, I'm pretty sure it's black. But compact, I mean, I love this knife, but a compact little system, you can just boom, you know, put this on your, uh, put this on your belt and head out into the woods with your RB3. So that's the next system from Mica over at Black Bear Custom Kydex. Next up here, we have this one for the Steel Wheel Dark Angel. Got the Cryptek and then a little accent down here and on the back as well with the Black Bear Custom Kydex logo. Now, you see on the back here, it's got, here's your, where the knife is and then here's kind of your mounting system. And you're like, okay, well, how do I attach that to a belt? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you don't want to attach to a belt, you can just set it up like this. And now we have this as far as your dangler option. So basically, you can just slide these, slide this in and click it into place. And it's, it's definitely snug, but there it is. And now you've got your dangler system. So maybe you're like, hey, I want a dangler system for one thing, but then maybe I don't want to use it in the future. You don't have to worry about that. So it's definitely snug as I take it out here. You gotta give it some English. 
which is good. But there it is, there it comes out. So that's the system. And then again, if you want to put it back in, slide it in here and it clicks into place. Now you've got your danger. You also have your Blackbird Custom Codex logo there and on the back of the leather as well. So again, this is the Steel Wheel Dark Angel knife and uh, another system. All right, so I really like the um, Iron Path and Hudson Bay system that Micah made. I'm like, that one's my favorite. And then I saw this one, I'm like, ah, maybe this one's my favorite. Check this out. This is for an SE, a bunch of SE knives. So we have the, um, this is the SE CR 2.5 and then an SE 5 is the large knife. And as you can see, it's clear Kydex. I just, when I saw that, I'm like, that is just so cool. I just think that's so cool. So um, here's your SE5 coming out of the clear Kydex. If we can get that to be not so washed out. SE5, I haven't used this one a ton, as you can see, obviously it's very, very clean. I've been using other SE knives. Um, and then your CR 2.5, and then this is, um, this is the one with that new kind of stone wash or acid wash finish with the orange handle. And that clicks in here. I've got a, um, fire rod, right, fire rod, yeah, from Exotac there on the side, dangler system on the back. Now, similar to the steel wheel, we've got this system here that if you want to take this out, you can do so. Separate the dangler, and now you've got your sheath system here. If it's like you don't want to use the dangler, you want to uh, take it out and put it, attach it to a pack or tie it to something, you can do that. And then obviously if you want to put the dangler back on, like I said, it takes a little bit of English for these. And click it into place and also you may realize that this looks similar to the um, to the system from with the Mora companion take this out and now you can carry this one separately it's got the little utility clip there again so if I don't want to carry both of them if I just want to carry just this or just this I can do that and then this is gonna go back in and line it up properly goes back in clicks into place and that's what that looks like I have to keep adjusting my location because the sun keeps setting into the trees. This system is like the system. It's just like, it's got a lot of stuff. So check this out. This is built for um, the Ontario Knife Company Woodsman. And then I think this is called the Bushcraft Field, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the Bushcraft, Bushcraft Field. So this is a Baldrick system. So you're gonna sling this you know, across your chest. You can obviously throw it around your shoulder, however you wanna carry it. This system is one system altogether and then can be taken apart. That's why we have the large chopping tool with a large fire steel here, the smaller knife with a fire steel here. We have a small through night flashlight there and then another through night flashlight here on the bottom. So it, there are a lot of different pieces here. We also have on the back from Armor Light a compass that's in there. So let's just start with that. You can pop the compass out, take a look at it and then just basically slide it back in and it'll it'll stay in place here we've got the woodsman you can see slightly used there but in very good shape big hefty chopping tool and we've got brown for that part of the um, sheath with cryptek there so that's that and then for the smaller knife for the bushcraft field there's this slide this down in now the reason we got two kind of systems in one is so you can take them apart. So if you want to just carry just the knife, you're not with the knife and then with no other items. So you can actually see we've got the um, the darker tan here and then we have a lighter tan here and then here's more of the, uh, the Cryptek. The lighter tan is going to slide out like so. So now you can see I've got some ballistic nylon there for my dangler and now I'm walking around with just the um, smaller knife but I still have a flashlight attached and I still have a fire steel attached so it's not like I left everything else back at camp I've got a, a little system within the larger system so let me put this aside and then show you the bigger system here so now this is what this looks like and you've got this is what the um, through night t10 v2 down here on the bottom so we've got that little light on the bottom and then a really big fire steel large fire steel there so if you left this back at camp and you go out with just this baldrick style then you still have other items it's not just your cutting tool and so basically because there's a space between this one this sheath that uh that you slide the um smaller knife into and the larger sheath you can put your ballistic nylon back behind there so slide the kydex into the kydex portion 
and then just put the ballistic nylon back behind it and now that's locked in like that. So this thing is not, I mean, that's not going anywhere. That is locked in nice and solid. And again, you know, however you want to carry it, you can carry it over one shoulder. So for most people, when they think about a Baldrick system, it's going to go like this. You know, you're going to kind of carry it across your chest. So I'm walking with it and then say I want to use the tool. I can take it out, do some chopping, resheath it, lock it in. Oh, I want to do something smaller. Take out the smaller knife, lock it in. So it's kind of riding across across your chest and then kind of dangling on your side like that. Here's another look at it. So that's the system sitting on my uh, my chest, a little bit on my side. And if I want to sling it across like this, I can do it. If I want to sling it all the way around the back, I can do that. Maybe I'm going across something, I want to keep it nice and close, I can put it up on my chest like this. And then if I'm starting to do some work, okay, I can do my work here, resheath it. Okay, now I'm going to start walking, put it on my side, and take off. So as far as the last sheath, um, I want to roll in some photos here. It's not really a knife sheath as much as I want to tell you he does sheaths and kydex for a bunch of different things. So he does kydex for hol uh, holsters, you know, for weapons. He does uh, systems where you're carrying like a multi-tool and also a flashlight as well. Um, if you've got something that you want to put in kydex that you want to carry around, contact him and he will work with you. Um, he's, it's amazing how creative he gets with the different things that he's done. So um, I'm just rolling in these photos here so you can see there's a wide array of things that he's able to do when it comes to kydex. It's not just knife and machete sheaths, you know, and throwing a fire steel. Very, very, uh, very varied amount of things um, that he can do with kydex. I can tell you, I mean, I love the look of the sheaths. sheaths. I love the functionality of the sheaths, and I've never had one fail on me. I've never had a hardware fall off and break. I've never had something fail on me when I'm out in the woods using it. It's it's always, it's been, you know, the stuff that he sends me works really well. Um, he made a couple systems for me last time for like my Topps Kukri, my SE Hunglis. I have definitely dropped quite a few sheaths and systems and yet they're still working great. So I stand behind Micah and what he does and I know he does as well. So um, again, if you want any more information about what he's doing, uh, links down below in the description section, Black Bear Custom Kydex. Just head over to Google and check that out. Black Bear Custom Kydex, blackbearck.com. Uh, he does custom orders. Sometimes uh, you'll have to send him a knife if he doesn't own it, and then obviously he'll build the system and send it back to you. That's pretty standard for a lot of custom work that gets done. And um, always kind of coming up with new creative ideas, new types of Kydex, just, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a huge fan. I'm thinking about doing a video series in the future, something like uh, companies I believe in, you know? So like, I stand behind SE products, I stand behind my Topps products. Um, I stand behind Black Bear Custom Kydex. Definitely two thumbs up for the work that Micah is doing. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and Michael will reply, reply back or I will as well. And um, yeah, just just rocking it out, rocking it out, Black Bear Custom Kydex. Well, here's a link to the first Black Bear Custom Kydex video that I made. As always guys, thanks for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on our Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.